Ladies, if you are involved in a domestic violence situation, you need to get your kids, get yourself together, and get out. Move to another state to be safe. This is crazy here. This lady here, Miss Daniel, age 34, gunned down November 8th, 2023, in Boynton Beach, Florida. Now, this boyfriend, ex-boyfriend, age 41, claimed he couldn't stand to see her with, with another man. She went to the police to report being followed by him. And guess what? He was outside the police station. And guess what? Minutes later, she was dead. God bless the family. God bless this woman. Damn. Tonight, shocking new details into the murder of a Boynton Beach woman outside her apartment. Boynton Beach police are now investigating what happened just before that shooting took place. The department, in fact, has now launched an internal affairs investigation into what they know. And Jim, that is because we know that this woman, Fraidlene Daniel, went to Boynton Beach Police about 45 minutes before she was shot and killed. According to police, Daniel filed a police report around 8.15 a.m. that her ex-boyfriend, Cesar Robbins, was following and harassing her. Police say surveillance video actually shows Robbins outside the police department while she was inside. Ladies, it's time to get trained and get armed. Police department while she was inside. When Daniel went home, police say Robbins shot and killed her in the parking lot of her apartment building just before 9 a.m. CBS, since the killer has confessed, all eyes are now on the Boynton Beach Police Department because there are significant questions about whether they uh, could have done more to prevent this crime. CBS 12's Al Pefley joins us live with more on that. Al? Liz Robin Cesar is being held here without bond at the Palm Beach County Jail after he confessed to first degree murder with a firearm. The question now is whether anyone else bears any responsibility for a single mother's senseless death. 41-year-old Robin Caesar had confessed to killing his ex-girlfriend, 34-year-old Fraidlene Daniel of Boynton Beach. Police say he shot her multiple times in the parking lot outside her apartment shortly before 9 Wednesday morning. Neighbors all over the complex heard the shots and called police. I heard at 8.54 as I was getting ready for work. Bang, 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 bang. So immediately I dropped to the ground and crawled to the window. I looked out. I saw her lifeless body behind a car. But less than an hour before she was killed, Daniel drove to the Boynton Beach Police Department to report that Caesar was following her. In fact, police video from their own cameras shows Caesar outside the station while Fraidlene was making her complaint. I think they should at least escort her home, make sure that she got home safely. Something should have been done. Somebody dropped the ball. Former FBI agent Stuart Kaplan, who is now a criminal defense attorney, says it's not clear police had any obligation to escort her home. Just based upon the information in hand that a woman comes in and says that someone is following me and he happens to be my ex-boyfriend, I'm not sure that's enough, even to the extent of the police department or an officer offering her a ride home. The issue, Kaplan says, is that at the time of her complaint, the ex-boyfriend had committed no crime. The allegation from the victim's perspective is that he's following me. The single act or the just the report of my ex-boyfriend is following me may not in and of itself be enough for law enforcement to act upon. But it is enough for the Boynton Beach Police Department to begin its own investigation into what happened while Fraidlene was in the police station 40 minutes before her murder. And just afternoon today, the Boynton Beach Police Department released a written statement saying the Internal Affairs Division is now investigating this incident, and the officer who spoke with Fraidlene is currently on administrative leave until that inquiry is complete. 
Stop domestic violence. It's not right and it's always wrong. God bless Miss Daniels. God bless her family and friends. Damn. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.